Hi everybody, I'm going to build a new PC. It's going to be using this Corsair 7000D Airflow and I want to put a Threadripper Pro motherboard in it and the motherboard I've chosen is the Asus WRX80E Sage SE Wi-Fi. The challenge is I cannot find anywhere on the internet of a picture of that particular motherboard inside of this particular case. So I didn't know what to expect when I ordered the, the case, whether it was going to fit or not. Both the motherboard and the case say that they are EATX, but there is no real standard EATX. Uh, just ask Steve from Gamers Nexus. And I really can't find anything on the internet, in YouTube or anywhere, that would tell me exactly how it was going to fit and how the cables were going to, you know, run and, and how restrictive it was going to be. I ended up getting the case first and I made a little cardboard cutout to kind of line up to make sure everything was going to uh, work properly. Um, it seems like it will, but the first thing you're going to notice is this shroud uh, for covering up the cables on a regular ATX motherboard uh, is going to have to come off. And secondarily, this other shroud right here um, might work, but uh, the challenge is going to be running the cables, especially the power cables that come off of the edge of the board. I'm going to lose the functionality of the rubber grommet there, but uh, we'll see. So. Based on my cardboard cutout, the screws that I need are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to put in the motherboard now and we're going to find out. Okay, the motherboard is in. The Mounting screws were as I had predicted uh, in those locations I identified earlier. Uh, it's a really tight fit. The edge of the board goes right up to that shroud, that wiring shroud. What, the other thing I wanted to test with the board size was how I was going to run these power cables and make them look nice. Um, since I can't use those grommets, I will do something similar to this. These are just test cables. They're not going to be the uh, ultimate uh, cables, but uh, it doesn't look too bad. The power on this motherboard is um, interesting in that it's got uh, an EPS up here, which I have yet to populate. There's a second EPS, uh, these four here, uh, there's the 24 pin um, motherboard power and there's another PCIe 8 port or 8 pin here uh, to feed power to this beast. The other thing is there's going to be two more 6 PCI powers here and those will easily feed out through one of the holes there, so I'm not too concerned about those. I also wanted to see how the um, USB uh, Type-C connection was going to fit and how the USB 3 um, for the uh, motherboard headers up here, or the motherboard connectors, um, see how those were going to fit and bend. They, they're adequate. I don't kind of like them. That way, I might have to do something with it because the tension as it's pushing back out is pushing it this way and they're slightly angled on both of these. So I don't think that's going to be a permanent solution, um, but time will tell. Finally, the interesting thing about this shroud is it has uh, a screw here and it has a screw up here to hold the uh, shroud in place. Um, those are rounded head screws and they're pretty thick comparatively. Normally the standoffs on the uh, case would raise the motherboard above 
normal screws, so that wouldn't be a problem. But what this motherboard has is a huge metal plate on the back um, that goes all the way to the edge, down, kind of angles that way. But a lot of the, uh, the back of the motherboard is covered by this plate. What happens is that rounded head screw that's behind here is um, bowing out that metal plate. So that's not going to be a permanent solution either. Uh, I'm going to have to remove that screw just so that it will be flush against the um, flat flange thingy um, without the screw head uh, putting pressure in an odd spot and bowing that uh, that that board. So otherwise, so far so good. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, uh, I won't be using the U.2 um, connectors here. That's not a problem. Uh, fan connection isn't going to be a problem or any of these other little connections. Um, I'll be using a few SATAs. So this has got eight SATA ports. Uh, those should go straight out. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, as far as cable management is concerned. And all of the uh, pins on the bottom um, shouldn't be a concern. The All of them are at a 90 degree angle uh, pointing downwards, which will make it a lot easier to just exit through one of these exit holes um, instead of having to loop and then go back. Um, I kind of like that design. Uh, the thing I like, one thing I like about it is that with an oversized uh, card here, uh, whoops, oversized card here, uh, probably a video card. I'll end up um, probably overhanging those connections, but it shouldn't be a problem on this motherboard. Other than that, I am pretty happy with the proof of concept here, how I want to lay stuff out. Uh, time will tell once I get my final cables and uh, start really uh, building it permanently. Um, time will tell. So, thank you for watching.